This is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, bringing you today's video from the Tesla Semi factory construction site for August 24th, 2024. And what I wanted to show here was a perspective of the factory and the rendering from the same angle and on or about the same height. And, uh, and then we'll get into the drone flyover. The title of today's um, video is, you'll see that um, steel is being staged, columns, beams, and uh, rafters will eventually all be um, assembled, but it starts with the columns, and you'll see the, they are staging them right now on the far northwest corner of the building, which is where they started. This is the uh, most cured concrete and um, it's a very exciting event to see when this happens. I believe it is imminent. And uh, we'll take a look. We're right now we're going to fly around the perimeter of the um, semi-factory, and we'll see. Uh, we'll come back, and I'll, I'll do some voiceover when, when I think it's appropriate. Otherwise, I'll just let you watch it. As usual, leaving the screen right when I talk about it is they're uh, finishing that concrete with one of those uh, machines that the uh, operator rides. And this is the western, the southwestern corner. And we're going to turn the corner and we're going to head, we're going to matriculate our way across, along the um, southern uh, Gigafactory Nevada border, semi factory border, and work our way over to the southeast and then we'll turn and head north along the eastern perimeter and finish the uh, the uh, the route by uh, turning west and heading down the uh, northern um, perimeter and it's uh, you can see they're placing they're still doing uh, footings over on this end and just like we saw at Giga Texas they are not going to wait till all the um, footings are done before they start. The western footings, the uh, specifically the northwestern uh, corner of the building, is where they first started uh, digging footings and pouring cement. So our concrete. Uh, but that you had me. Anyways, here's the. Um, we're now heading along the northern perimeter grade and we're seeing a bunch of the uh, steel that's going to be used and uh, pretty soon it's going to be pretty interesting because we're going to see them actually moving the um, columns and uh, placing them around the uh, perimeter in, in preparation for uh, for going vertical. Here we go. Here's one of these lifts moving uh, steel and you can see that they've placed it right. That is the far northwestern, north, mo, northwesternmost corner. And there, there's the uh, columns are being placed. And those, I am not an expert, but I am confident that those are the supports that they use to hold the columns in place until the beams can be um, installed to give it more uh, structural integrity. So they are rapidly getting ready to um, start the steel. We're going erect. Good look at the uh, what we just saw, and here is the uh, the lifts moving uh, 
steal around and again I can uh, let me know if the vernacular is improper and uh, I'll incorporate it into my next video. Here we get a really good look at the um, varied and assorted patterns for the uh, footings. And I did notice on Joe Tegmeyer's video that I watched today that you, he peered into the building and you could see some of those um, offset or um, footings that are at an angle to the uh, perimeter of the building. It's going to be... Um, requires some diligence and some serendipity for me to actually be able to catch the uh, the day that they start going uh, vertical, but I'm going to do my best and uh, see if I get lucky. To me, it's very interesting how um, the, each of these posts and beams and the eventual um, trusses all must be imprinted with a, a barcode or some technique and method for um, knowing where it goes in the jigsaw puzzle. And I think we saw two gentlemen standing next to that lift um, making sure that it gets delivered to the right location. And for those, any viewers that have experience with how that's done or can uh, elaborate, provide some color, uh, that's one of the most interesting things about doing these videos is the feedback and the comments um, and replies. Here they're working the fresh concrete along the uh, western perimeter of the building. And this is where we uh, can confirm now, as the viewers were right, the yellow um, goes underneath the concrete, then the concrete is poured. One more look at the re completed rendering because I think it's uh, always nice to see it uh, and keep in mind what all of this work is going to result in. And if you follow along, I'll try to show you every step of the way. Thanks for joining, and um, I'll leave uh, I'll leave that I'll leave the, any observations to uh, to you. This is a really good look at the scenic um, area that Giga Nevada is located in. And it was a beautiful, cool, unseasonably cool August morning. And uh, as I drove in, it was very interesting. And uh, the sun was shining through the clouds, beaming down on Giga Nevada. And uh, I didn't get any really good pictures, so I didn't want to because I was driving. And uh, But it's a beautiful day excellent working conditions, very, very cool for, for an August, late August day. And, uh, but I do believe the heat will be coming back in a couple days.
I can imagine that by the end of this Saturday workday, that um, a fairly significant amount of this steel will be placed in its appropriate spot. And uh, any predictions on how, how many days before the uh, columns go vertical will be uh, appreciated and we'll keep track.